Hello everybody, this is Tekka. In this tutorial I'm be going over the configuration and installation process of the Core Protect plugin for Bucket. So to download, you're just going to want to go to the Bucket Forms, scroll down to the download and download it right there. When you have it downloaded, you're going to want to put it right into your plugins folder and then run your server just like this. And it should start up without any problems, as you can see it says uh, Core Protect has been enabled, and it is using file-based storage, which I'll go over in just a sec. So getting right into it, we're going to want to go to Plugins, and then Core Data, and this is where all the data is saved, and the config is. So getting right into the config, the first option is the noisy default. Set to true, it enables it so all the data when you're doing rollbacks or restores is displayed to you. You can, well if you have that disabled, set to false. You can just add noisy on the end of commands and that will add the information that you need. And then we have the double click, so this will just require you to, instead of single click, double click with the block you have set to inspect the grief or whatever you're clicking on to be double click. And then we have MySQL information and I highly recommend you use this if you have a bigger server with uh, more than like 10 people on you should be using MySQL because that just makes your server run faster, less file storage and things like that. So to use MySQL you're going to want to set that to true, set your prefix, you just keep that the same. That's if you have something already using that. Set your host, your database username, I'll have a tutorial on making a local MySQL database soon. And then we have the logging, so you can log block placing, block breaking, natural break, block movement, pistons, block turn, block ignite, explosions, entity damage, sign text, buckets, leap decay, tree growth, mushroom growth, portals, water flow, lava flow, liquid tracking, and player interact. Now everything has information for the individual things that you can look at, that's just enables or disables whether if those things are logged or not. And that is about it for the configuration of this plugin. Once again, I highly recommend you set up a MySQL database with this. I'll have a tutorial on the MySQL database, well, creating a MySQL database on your local machine. If you have hosting, they'll probably give you one, or at least they should give you one for free. It's not really that hard to do. And I'll also have a tutorial going over the commands of this. Now there are, there is, some permission nodes that I can show you really fast. If I go over here, and go down to permissions. You can also see the commands here too. Go to permissions. You can have all the permissions. Roll back. This gives you access to rolling back. Restore. Access to rolling store. You can expect with this command. Access to the help command. And purge is access to the purge command. So that is about it. Once again, those tutorials will be coming soon. If this video has helped you out in any sort of way, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a great day and goodbye.